Hey, hello guys, how are you? How are you doing? Hi teacher, good evening. All right, good. So, now oh, here's the other side. Hello teacher. Hey, hello, Milagro. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Ivania. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Good. Super Good. tired. <laughs> Very tired. Yes, Why? Porque hasta ahorita vengo llegando de trabajar. Oh es que se va, la, se va primero a la cafetería a platicar mucho. Ah, que van afuera. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. Es el tráfico. ¿eh? Sí. Cuando es terrible. Okay, good. And you, Ivania, what time do you get home? Relaxing like in my house. <laughs> Now in your house. My house. Okay. And you, Brandon, what time did you do you get to your house? Brandon. Brandon, Brandon. Okay, what time what time do you get to your house? Uh, six o'clock p.m. Six o'clock. Okay. Well, that's that's a good time. Okay. Nice. And let me see. Uh, what is the distance from your house to your work? So so three that five kilometers. Uh, it's not too far. Not too mm -hmm. much. Wow, that's good. That is good. Because uh, in some cases, well, in my case, it's like, let me see, 15, 13, like 15, 15 kilometers, right? 15 kilometers from my house to the school is relatively close. It's not too not too far, but in other cases, it's very far. Yeah, that's in my case, yes, 15. And sin trafico, suena, it's okay. Pero con trafico is terrible. Okay, when there's a lot of traffic. That's the problem, the traffic. Yes, the traffic is problem. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's okay. Okay, people. So we have today. We start. This is the our last week again, and then we have the this section number five. Say, say, I can't ice skate very well. And then it says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the United States and Canada. Okay, so then today we're going to be talking a little bit about sports you like or sports that you practice. Okay, um, some uh, likes and dislikes. Uh, probably some tendencies, right? For example, uh, Milagro, do you like do you like sports? No, I don't. Don't. Good. No. Nothing. 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 Good exercise. Something. Uh -huh. okay. Aunque sea, aunque sea, aunque sea ajedrez. ajedrez. No, no. Oh, bad. 
Okay, there is a difference between um, sports and games, right? For example, when we talk about uh, maybe sports, we can talk about football, soccer. Uh, well, football because sometimes they say football in 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 England and soccer in the United States. But also you have a uh, uh, hockey. Okay, that is another one. Okay, which is in Canada, in other countries, depending on the on the season. Ivania. What do you like sports? I like soccer. Oh, really? Wow, that's good. Play or watch? Perdón, play, play or watch? Uh, play. Oh, really? Play? Play, yes. Okay, good. And what position do you play? La posición. Yes. Defender. Uh, mid delantera. Forward. 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 Okay, good. forward. <laughs> yes. Nice. Okay, good. Excellent. How about you, Brandon? Do you like sports? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes, I can see that. Favorite sport? Soccer. Soccer. Okay. And position that you play? Midfielder. Midfielder. Okay, good. That's nice. How about you, Oscar? Do you like sports? Yes, teacher. I like basketball. Oh, basketball. Good. And what position do you play? No, teacher. I like watch basketball. Okay, to watch is good. Favorite team? Uh, I like the Buffalo. Buffalo, okay, good. Now the playoffs are coming, right? The playoff. Good. Reina, do you like sports? I don't. You don't? Nada. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> Nada de deporte. Terrible. Horrible. Unbelievable. <laughs> Two, <laughs> Milagro and Reina, no sports. Okay, good. Jennifer, do you like sports? Skateboarding, teacher. Which one? Skateboarding. Skateboarding, wow, that's good. Very, very skillful. Is it dangerous? <laughs> yes. Yes, huh? How many, <laughs> how many accidents have you had? I get the tropey and teach a little car. Yes, the, I mean, uh, uh, a car can run into, run into, atropellar, run into. Run into. Uh -huh, yes, it's dangerous. Okay, have you, uh, and do you like to practice in the half pipe? Yes. Okay, good. Nice, very good. Where where do you practice? Um, the weekend. In, in where? Ah, in the, in the skate park, in oh, my okay. colonia. In the, in the La neighborhood. Pecera, le la pecera. La pecera. Ah, okay, yes. Aquí es la como la half pipe, right? Una media pipa. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Nice. Uh, yeah. How about you, Jenny? Hi, teacher. Sports? Yes, I like. Okay. What sport do you practice? Mm. Sometimes I, I play soccer. You play soccer? Wow, that's yeah. good. That's nice. And when you play, what position do you like to play? No, teacher. I play soccer I, in watch, watch TV. You play or what? For the uh, two? I watch 
Ah, okay. You watch. Okay, mm -hmm. you watch. Okay, you watch uh, soccer. And which is uh, which is your favorite team? What's your favorite team? Mm. Barça Madrid. No. Mancha. Alianza hey. Platense. <laughs> La selecta. La selecta. La selecta los, las... Bueno, no tengo favorito alguno, teacher. Ok, good. I don't have. I don't have a favorite team. No. I don't have. I don't have every team. Favorite team. And you, teacher? Me what? I play soccer. I play soccer every week. Play soccer. I like to like to play um, any position because I play um, I play for fun with friends at work, and then I sometimes I'm on the goalkeeper, sometimes I'm a defender, sometimes I am in the midfield, and sometimes I'm a forward. It depends on it depends on my mood. Okay, it depends del del estado de ánimo de que I'm a goalkeeper today. Cuando estoy más inspirado, me quedo de defensa. Ok. And let me see what else. Um, I also, I like uh, jogging. I like jogging. Me gusta así trotar, right trotting. And also I like to, to lift weights. Ok. Do, go to the gym. Ok. Then, uh, but I don't go, no way on team up, so, right? I do exercise here in my house or in, or in, the, or in the school. Okay, so but the three things, soccer, a jogging or trotting or running, and then I also like to, to lift weights. Okay, levantar pesas cuando puedo, right? When I have chance, when there are more, when I have more time. That's my favorite, those are my favorite sports. Here in El Salvador, we can practice soccer, basketball, uh, what else? Uh, baseball. What else can we practice? Uh, judo, karate, and fencing, esgrima, fencing, uh, handball. What else can we practice here? Volleyball, beach volleyball. Um, Skateboarding, skateboarding. What else can we practice? Another game uh, or sports? Surf. No, surfing, uh, surfing, yes, surfing is another one. Yes, thank you. Okay, so these are, uh, here we have some water pole, right? Water pole. Uh, there are some water games that we can practice. Uh, in the United States, for example, they have season games, right? Like here, say sports and seasons. Esquist. Uh, mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice? Esquiar, esquís. Esquí, uh -huh. yes, esquí. Water ski, okay. And out tennis, table tennis, fronton, squash. There are many sports that we can practice, but there are some, uh, for example, uh, there is a skateboard, is the, the one that Jennifer practices is a skateboard. But uh, in the United States, there is another one that is boarding, okay, skate, uh, snowboarding. Have you heard about the snowboarding? It's so siempre, un tablero sobre la nieve, right? Como lo que hace Jenny, pero en vez de ruedas, nieve. Right, so then that's another game. So that's why they have winter, winter sports, and they also have summer sports. Okay, Nos, um, let's say Juego de Nieve y Juego de Invierno, right? And the ones for the summer. But now listen to this video, watch the video and listen to the ideas. Pay attention to the vocabulary, pronunciation, Okay, and then we can uh, check the vocabulary later. 
just um, let me make sure that we have the sound. Okay, it is ready. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the US and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Think about your family, friends, and co-workers, and the sports that they play. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. Okay, you can see here, for example, the spring, summer, fall, and winter. Okay, these are the, the four seasons, right? Uh, according to, to the weather. Okay, in the, in the United States, in this case, in the United States in Canada. Okay, in this moment, okay, so I think they are, they are in the what? Let me see, summer, okay, summer, they have May, June, no, they are still in the spring. Okay, spring is December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Then July, August, September. Yes, July, August, September, they have for the fall. Okay, so right now they are still in spring. So they are about to start the summer. And then in the summer is hot, right? In the spring, there is a, a little rain and it's cool, cool, not cold. In the fall is when, they, when the trees change color. Okay, when the trees are green, yellow, orange, red, brown, dry, and the, and the leaves fall down. Okay, so that is the, the fall. And in the winter is when the snow, the snow comes down. Okay, no problem with the spring? No problem with the vocabulary? Okay, so then in the spring, remember they can, uh, you can play golf, soccer. In the summer, you can play baseball, tennis, volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, they play football, okay? They uh, go bike riding, and they also go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, they play basketball, they go ice skating, and they go skiing. Okay, so these are the different sports that they play in the different seasons. My one is, look at this one. In the summer, I 
go swimming in the fall I play football in the winter I play basketball try to give as many examples as you possibly can think about your family friends and co-workers and okay so these are the phrases and sentences that we are going to practice right for example um, in the spring okay I play golf okay I play soccer uh, what other sports can you play well you can play uh, let me see you can play in the spring also if you play soccer oh, soccer is very cool and then in school in the fall they play uh, probably can play what else can you play let me think about another one probably hockey, squash. Okay, you can also play uh, table tennis. Okay, these are other games that you can play. All right, so here in El Salvador, what is, well here, the problem in El Salvador is that we play all the sports all the time. Here in El Salvador, there is no, no difference, right? Uh, it's winter, no, winter, we don't have winter, it's like the rainy season and the dry season. Let me... Rainy season and the dry season. Okay, so we have these two moments, right? And there is no difference in the Salvador, right? Or rainy, llueva, or este seco, soccer all year round. Uh, baseball all year round. Uh, tennis all year round. Okay, todos los deportes juegan a lo largo del año, right? No matter si llueve o no llueve, solamente que sea una lluvia demasiado fuerte, lo suspendan, right? But on the contrary, they, uh, we always have uh, sports. That's the, the beautiful thing in the tropical, right? In the tropical countries, tropical weather, because there are no restrictions. Okay. Uh, have you ever played when it's raining? ¿Quién ha jugado bajo la lluvia? Cualquier deporte. Who has played under the rain? Nobody? Yes, teacher, I do. Brandon? Oh, okay, good. Feels good, huh? Feels nice. Probably. El, un deporte que sería difícil jugar bajo la lluvia here in El Salvador todos pero de los más difíciles basketball basketball yes because the uh, ball no. Ajá, ya no rebota it doesn't bounce the ball does not bounce tennis maybe yes um, what else? Volleyball? Volleyball, because it's uh, dangerous, right? Se pone lisa la cancha. Sí, pero es más factible. Que el basketball, right? Yes. Que uh, el beach volleyball. No sé si nos podría. No, ¿verdad? Tampoco el fútbol de playa, el soccer beach. Tampoco, no, no rodan, muy, pe no. muy pesada la cancha, right? Yes, it would be good. Interesting, right? Never thought about it. Okay, good. 
so then you say, for example, I play uh, sports from the United States. In the spring, I play. In the summer, I play. And you can also use the negative, right? The sports yeah. that they play. No problem about vocabulary. Preguntas del vocabulary? No? Okay. Then we have, for example, the, well, re always related to the sports. Okay, for example, the questions with WH, this is our review. You will practice a conversation which illustrate how this topic is used in a real, in a real life setting. <clears throat> we have by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Who, what, where, why, when, okay, and all that. Now listen to this video, watch and pay attention to the new vocabulary. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of compliment. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is, who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? 
let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. Does plus the subject. Some friends from work. We have a. Oh, I don't play these sports. I just. Okay, we're going to practice this conversation, okay? In pairs, Laura, Justin, uh, okay, if we can. Uh, take a screenshot, tomenle un, una captura de pantalla a la conversación y para que la podamos practicar en, en los grupos. Vamos a hacer unos grupos para practicar la pronunciación y la fluidez, ok, with this conversation. Se lo puede leer, dice, so, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? So I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, le toman a esta y a esta. The questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay? Then, acá vamos a ver que en parejas van a tomarse turnos y van a practicar esa conversación. Uno es Lauren y el otro Justin y después cambian, okay? And then you can practice one or two times each one. Then, the same with this. First, one asks the questions, the other answers. Then, vice versa. One, the one who answered the questions, asks the questions here. One or two times also to practice the structure and the pronunciation. Okay. 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 Six, eight, okay. Vamos a tener, let me see, 34. Unos 10 o 12 minutos más o menos. No. Four. Here we go. To practice, okay? One, two, three. Here you go. Wait, okay.
Right now you can go to the a la sala uno for and see para que estén tres. Teacher, no tengo las um la eh, invitación. Ajá, no, no tengo eh, el párrafo. No me sale. A ver. Okay, una se ya se lo voy a mandar a su WhatsApp. Okay. Let me see. Are my favorite. Wow, well, you're really good athletic. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play that sport. I just watch things on television. Okay, our tour is loud. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are really good at athletic. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Okay. Nice. Good. <laughs> um, la otra imagen la tienes? Yes. Okay. Te pregunto yo primero o cómo? Sí, está bien. What sport do you play? Um, I play video games and skis. Invent, okay? Okay. Who do you play? ¿Qué me dijiste? Play Play video game En esquí sí, Juegos En esquí With um, I play Video game and With Some My cousin Ay, Iniciamos What otra vez. Stay on television. Ok. Eh, voy con. Yo inicio, ¿verdad? Uh, sí. Yes. Ok. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. 
Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you of this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on the television. Okay. What about usted? Usted uh, So, Justin, what do you do in your free, free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow. You are a really good adult. Uh, Where do you play on um, this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Muy bien. What, what sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. La otra montaña. Who do you play basketball with? I play with some friends from the world and where no sé qué dice lo de Mount porque en mi captura no lo capté bien todo. We have a team. Ah, we have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When, when do you practice? When I practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, good. Good. Very nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, good, good. Uh, nice. Very nice. How was it? <laughs> How was it? Bien, teacher. Good, huh? Excellent. Very good. good. Yes. <laughs> okay, no, nice pronunciation. Okay, la, solo que la primera conversación no la oí. Entonces, ¿quieren volver a practicar? Okay. Right. Eh, Milagro, usted va a ser Lauren y Brandon, you are Justin. Okay. Okay. Sam, Justin, what do you, what do you frame time? Este, permito que voy a poner la otra imagen. Ya, <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Okay. Let's go. I see, I see. All right. Okay. So Justin, what do you enjoy full time? Well, I love sport. Really? What is what do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow. Or really don't apply? Yeah. Apply. And when do you play as this sport? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, okay good. Thank you. Okay, now, uh, Brandon, you are Lauren, and Reina, you are Justin. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Reina. Where okay. I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, okay, but the basketball and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you are really good athletics. 
when do you play all these sports? I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Okay, very good. Nice. Excellent. Okay, people, let's go back to the main session and we talk about this. Okay, we're back. Hi, teacher. Hello. You're back. That's it. Okay. Sure. Okay, good. Finish. Yes. Uh, well, Finish. Had, okay, it was good. Solo dije, oí, más bien dicho. Teacher, okay. me sacó de una buena conversación. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, it was good. Sorry, sorry. Eh, no only... problem, teacher. Okay. Next time, I give you more time, okay? Mañana le voy a dar más. Okay. Los diez minutos no, no alcanzaron, teacher. No. Como tres veces leí usted, Iván. ¿Ah? No, teacher. Le dale la misma conversación con Oscar. It's good. No, no. Eh, ya vi que no se callaban ahí. Yeah. Eso está bueno, eso está bueno. Pero eh, solamente una palabra, que era at least. Es la que vi que un poquito tuvieron algunos con esa palabra. Dice, eh, wow, you're a, really, you're a really good at least. Ok, at least. Then, y la otra, tal vez, tal vez baseball y at least. De ahí todo lo demás lo pronunciaron muy bien. It was good. Y en las preguntas, let me see. It was only the twice. You say, for example, we practice once or twice a week. Okay, remember, what sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? Jenny, Jenny, está hablando de otros deportes, estaba ya. Who do you play, who do you play baseball with? Ay, Dios mío. Eso no. sucede cuando no podemos hablar inglés. No, no, y, no y porque estuvo muy bien, porque todavía le dice, no, estoy inventándole. Es que no lo yes, es porque uh, no tenía otra opción más que inventar, dicho. Pues está bien, o sea, yo les puse esa así okay. por, por la, ¿cómo es que se llama? Por la estructura, exactamente. Pero la idea realmente es, por ejemplo, usted dice, what sports do you play? En vez de hockey, I play hockey, te puedo poner, I play soccer and basketball and mm -hmm. any um, uh, squash, okay, todo lo que practica, no problem. And so? No, me, me dio risa porque es bien natural, se le dio, it was good, no es nice. <laughs> There okay. was a I play with some friends from work, we have a team. Uh, where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. The other is how often do you practice, right? How often, remember, is con qué periodicidad, con qué frecuencia, how often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Once, una vez, twice, two times a week. Uh, then when do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. ¿Alguna pregunta o respuesta que no les queda muy claro el significado? Sí, teacher. Quiero ver, permítanme, voy a buscar esta palabra que no la entendí. Who do you play with? Quiero ver.
Es la que donde dice we have a team, parece que dice. Ajá. We have a team. Dice, I play with some friends from work. Yes, we have a team. ¿Tenemos un equipo? For example, who told me que me dijo que jugaba? Ivania. O sea, que vi. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me, diga. We have a team. Tenemos un equipo, ¿cómo? Mm -hmm. No. Yes. We uh, have a team. Replace, no uh, sabía. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? ¿Qué dice? Es la segunda. ¿Qué dice la pregunta? Mm. Por ejemplo, dice, ¿con quién juegas béisbol? Es que le iba a preguntar a Ivania porque Ivania me dijo al inicio que ella juega fútbol. Entonces la pregunta sería, who do you play football with? ¿Con quién juega fútbol? Entonces eh, Ivania me podría decir, I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Ajá. ¿Por qué no se escribe así como, bueno? Ah. En el español, ¿con quién? O sea, con, sino que de último. ¿Por qué? No, este... Es buena pregunta. Lo que pasa es que recuerde que nosotros en... O sea, obviamente es, es, son, es, son ideas diferentes de idioma. Y eso es lo primero. ¿va? Que, este, uh -huh. En inglés la estructura es primero... Cuando se dice WH questions, tiene que comenzar con la pregunta, por ejemplo, de de WH, que son who, what, where. Entonces, la secuencia, por ejemplo, ¿cómo dice usted de dónde eres? Creo where. Eres. Ajá. Where. Where are you from? Where are you from? Entonces, no se dice igual que en español, from where are you? De dónde eres. Entonces, lo mismo, lo mismo es cuando está preposiciones, esas preposiciones de from, with o without okay, esas van al final en este tipo de preguntas okay? porque es una pregunta, entonces la pregunta tiene que iniciar con what, where, who why, eh, how eh, which eh, how many okay, how, eh, how much entonces la razón es esa porque la pregunta es wh question por ser pregunta, va al final. Si ve en la respuesta, en la respuesta, ¿dónde está el with? Después del verbo. Dice, who do you play baseball with? Entonces, se dice, I play with my friends. Juego con unos amigos. Ahí, ahí sí es más parecido al español. I play with some friends. Eh, cuando dice eh, lo mismo, where are you from? Entonces se pone el from, va al inicio y dice, ¿de dónde eres tú? From where are you? But, dice, from where, where are you from? Entonces, por esa razón es que no, no se usa igual que en español, porque la, las WH questions van al inicio. Okay, es, el, es como el do you que les expliqué la vez pasada, que no tiene significado en español. Cuando dice, do you play? Nosotros en español decimos, juega usted. Do you eat? Come usted. Do you like? Le gusta a usted. Do you like sports? Le gustan los deportes. El do no, no se traduce, no tiene una, un significado. Solo en, en inglés y es básico y es eh, imperativo. Que se use en una pregunta de yes, no. Do you like eh, English? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Es que esa es la, la razón por la que no van al inicio, igual que en español. Las reglas gramaticales son diferentes entre ambos idiomas. Exacto. exacto. Son las mismas. Hay algunas, algunas cosas que uno dice, esto es igualito, pero hay otras que realmente no. Son hay reglas que sí están dadas. Por ejemplo, otra, una regla que no cambia en inglés es que si usted ocupa una de esas palabras, como with, without, eh, por ejemplo, after, before, de esas palabras que son preposiciones, eh, si usa un verbo, after, después de esas palabras, en inglés tiene que ir un verbo con ing. Okay. Before telling you, 
antes de decirle, aunque en español y en español no. En español no se ocupa antes diciendo. Usted lo traduce before telling, decía, ah, pero dice antes diciendo. Pero en inglés es uh, before telling you, antes de decirle. Entonces son algunas reglas así que son bien específicas. Hay otras que sí son estructuras muy parecidas al español, pero no, no siempre. Entonces no hay que regirse porque ah, hay cosas parecidas, sino que hay estructuras y reglas gramaticales que son diferentes para no crear como una confusión, right? Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Then from the pronunciation, from the meaning. Ah, y en esa que le decía, we have a team. Por ejemplo, es como decir, mire, yo tengo un equipo. I have a team and I play soccer every Sunday. Tengo un equipo y jugamos todos los domingos. Okay, so this is we have a team. What else? Do we have, let me check. Um, there's a conversation here. Look at this guy's watching soccer game. It says uh, here, uh, let me see. Brandon, read this conversation, please. Number one. Um, como. Read the um, conversation, complete. I watch. Ah, yep. I watch sports on television every weekend. Continue. Really? Uh, really, what sport do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. Okay. And the next one? What, when, who, where, or how? What? No, pero... What do you... How? Oh. How? 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 Like that? Yeah. Look at the answer when? on Sunday afternoons. On Sunday afternoons. When? When? When, uh -huh. yeah. when do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. Okay, on Sunday afternoons. Good. And not at my friend's house. He has a real big television. And um, where? Where do you usually watch it at home? And where do you usually watch it at home? At home, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Good. The second one? How? How often? Yes. How often do you go bike riding? Mm, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every day, every Sunday. Really? When? When? Really? When do you go? When? Oh, when? When? When do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Go 
example, if I say that um, this question, who do you, Oscar, is Oscar here? I think now Oscar says, Frankie says, Oscar, who do you live with? This is teacher, no se escucha muy bien. Now, Oscar, who do you, who do you live with, Oscar? Who do you live with? Who can answer a question? Creo que Oscar debe tener igual que le ha pasado un issue, alguna situación con el micrófono. Okay, who do you live with? Uh -huh. Está preguntando con quién vivimos. Mm -hmm. Who do you live with? Ah. I live. I live. I live with my parents. Okay. I live with my parents. I live with my daughter. I live with my daughter. Correct. Okay. Who else? ¿Qué más? I live with my mom, uh, my sister, and my brother. And my daughter. Okay. I live with my mom, my sister, and my daughter. Brother. A brother, sorry. Sorry. Brother. Good. Okay. For example, then you can say Brandon lives with his mother, sister, and brother. Jenny lives with her parents. Milagro lives with her daughter. Okay. And um, Jennifer? Um, my door, door, y, my daughter. Mm -hmm. um, pareja, como se dice? And my partner. My partner. My qué? Partner. Partner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Excellent. Excellent. So that's the, okay, this is who do you live with? And then the question is going to be practicing who do you play with? Who do you have lunch with? Con quien almuerza? Who do you have lunch with? Who do you work with? Con quien trabaja? Who do you play with? Con quien juega? Who do you study with? Con quien estudia? Right? So then you can, pueden cambiar el verbo que ustedes quieran y que tenga sentido, right? Y para, so, ¿y esto qué? O para qué? O siempre tiene que ir your question. Al inicio. ¿Cuándo es para cuál, Jennifer? Mm, para decir, ¿y eso qué? ¿O para qué? Why. ¿Sería why? ¿Por qué? Why do you say pronunciar? Why, por ejemplo, why? ¿Por qué? Oh, what for? Oh, what for? Y solo para decir, ¿y eso qué? Sería, yeah. what do you say pronunciar? Uh -huh. que depende del contexto que a veces por ejemplo y eso ¿Qué, qué, no, qué por ejemplo usted? alguien le está diciendo que va a haber un evento un día y usted le dice para qué o y eso qué o sea que tiene que ver o no sé cosas así en en what's that y eso qué es cómo se escribe no What's and what's that? You can say what's. Teacher, cuando dice what's that, solo me recuerdo a la película de Chuck. ¿Por qué? <laughs> es que una vez la vi así subtitulada en inglés. Entonces, uh -huh. cuando llega Chuck uh, como a la pelea, que él ni sabe para qué lo han llamado. El, el villano se asusta y le dice, what is that? Uh -huh. Yes, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so that would be something like, okay, what's that? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. eh, y pod eh, podrían haber otras formas de decirlo dependiendo de lo que se está, por ejemplo, yes, y, y, y qué, so what, hay una, pero o sea, so what suena a veces muy pesada, y qué. Ese es el punto, Ajá, Exacto. Entonces, ¿qué va? So what? 
Entonces todo depende del contexto. Probablemente hay unas que sí, o sea, en, ya en, hablando el idioma cotidianamente, él dice, so what? ¿Y eso qué? O sea, pero suena a veces como que, ay, ¿qué? ¿No? ¿Verdad? Suena. La otra, what's that? Suena como un poquito, ¿y eso qué es? Suena un poquito más light. Uh -huh. Pero sí podría ser, so what? Ok. No more questions. Okay. Good. It was a nice practice today. Good. Good pronunciation, people. Continue practicing, listening. And tomorrow we're going to have some more practice about sports and WH questions. Okay. So have a very good night. See you tomorrow. And bye rest. bye, teacher. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Good morning. Bye, teacher. Good morning. Bye.